Here we have a Luna Ultima 640 starting at the front of the van with the coupling head with both the levers in the upright position it is ready to receive a tow ball like so. Once the tow ball is in place the rear handle will drop down then you bring the stabilisation handle down and you will notice that this red pin comes up showing a green indicator letting you know the tow ball is properly seated. To release the tow ball bring the first handle up and the second handle and the tow ball will release. Moving back we have your breakaway cable jockey wheel and handbrake. We also have your 13 pin plug. This controls your road lights, your fridge and your ATC. It will only do the fridge and the ATC if your vehicle is wired correctly. So I will now demonstrate the ATC and the road lights working. To start with the ATC. See that is working. Now going around, showing the lights. The lights are all on and working. Now they're moving up from the airframe to the gas locker. You have a place for two gas bottles. And also we have a bulkhead regulator that is suitable for both propane and butane. Coming around the side, we have your fresh water inlet, your battery locker, your mains inlet and your motor mover isolation switch behind it, which we'll come back to at the end of the video. Moving further back. Have your wastewater outlet, your toilet flush fill, and your toilet cassette. Bear with me a second while I open the door. Your toilet cassette there. It's kind of difficult to do one handed, bear with me. Right, there we go. Your toilet cassette. Then, like so. And we'll bring that back up. Now then, coming inside the van, you have your control panel up here. Start off, turn on the master switch. We have your voltage, your awning light. Okay, let me see. There we go, your awning light working. I'll come back to the pump in just a second. Then we have your light switch, turn all your lights on. Before we turn the pump on, we need to put that yellow switch into the horizontal position to uh, close the water system in the vertical system the water system is draining. While we're done here I'll just show you your consuming unit. You have your consuming unit here with your MTBs and RCD. It is recommended that every time you plug into a new power supply you hit this orange test button to make sure your RCD is working correctly for your safety. Also down here we have your 12 volt fuses with labelling for what fuse should be there and what they cover. Now with the yellow switch in the horizontal position we can turn the pump on, bleed all the air out of the system, this could take a few seconds on the cold side, and it could take a few minutes on the hot side. Now we've got a nice steady stream, we'll move back into the bathroom and do the bathroom tap. And the shower. Now we've got steady streams coming out of all of the uh, taps and the shower with primed the water system. Now with the water system primed, we can use the algae heating system to start off with. You turn it on there. Then you can select the internal temperature, the water heater off and on, gas off and on, electric, one kilowatt, two kilowatt and three kilowatt, and I'll 
turn that off again. <clears throat> you also find over here with your free burner hob with hot plate, your grill, your grill pan and handle, your oven. I mean, we have your microwave. This works the same as any domestic microwave would. You have your fridge freezer. Turn it on. I'll just turn it off. To turn it on, hold the power button, and you can select mains, gas, or 12 volt. Again, the 12 volt will only work when the car is plugged in, as long as your vehicle is boiled correctly. That's why it's faulting at the minute. Then we have your freezer set temperature settings and your fridge temperature settings, like so. Moving back into the bathroom. I'll demonstrate the toilet flush. To use the electric flush on the toilet, simply press this power button here, and the toilet will flush. When you're done using the toilet, grab the silver handle here, pull it towards yourself, it will release any of the liquid into the cassette. I'll now go around and show you all the lights are working. So also worth notice, <coughs> noting in the van will be left a winterization sheet that shows you how to prepare your van in the colder months, draining the water system to keep it safe. We also have a warranty cover sheet that shows you everything that is and is not covered under your warranty. It is also worth noting that the, uh, the warranty is a back to base warranty so it will need to be brought back to one of our, uh, one of our bases. I will now demonstrate the motor mover working. Two gauge mover, get the engagement bar onto the mover, over into the clunks, and then it is engaged. 